I witnessed the dumbest bet in the history of humankind, and it was fun to witness, painful for some, joyous for others, and we must speak about it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I went out with a couple of friends to do a nature hike. He let me use his Olympus OM-1 with the Leica 100 to 400 and his new, what is it, 30 mil or 60 mil Olympus Macro 2.8. So I used both those, got some epic footage, but we just talk about the bet first. So I'm, I know this guy, nicknamed Dice, best guy on earth. He's so fun to be around, just the happiest guy. And he said he had a friend that wanted to come with us and that could be awkward. You never know what's gonna happen. Three people, three could be not a charm. But we got along so great, just the perfect chemistry. Three boys out in the woods and we're just laughing. Best day of my life, one of the best. Just, I had so much fun. Thank you all for being so awesome. Now picture this, we're looking for a trail. We see some maps. We're like, that one looks nice. Long green trails, like, okay. We go there, long walk just to get there, and it's like so basic and shit. Literally just like a straight path in like backyards. It was houses on both sides, there was only squirrels. And we're like, wow, this is terrible. We ended up walking so far that day, like 18 kilometers total. That's far for us, we're weak. This generation, your old generation, yeah. You went uphill both ways, we get it. The squirrel did go near this freaky mushroom patch. So I was like, oh, that's a cool shot. Not bad, Olympus, oh, I'm one, 4K 60P. Leica 100 to 400, not bad, pretty stable. So we'll, I'll show you some more shots. I'm in Velvia now. Someone said vivid profile with saturation down is really nice for the face, is it? It's not. So we're walking. Somehow, we end up talking about the Sony a7 IV. I'm an a7S III shooter, and so is the new guy, Geet. He's brought it with him with a Tamron 70 to 180. I was like, I, I tried not to look in his direction. Just the filth of the third party lens just disgusted my mouth. So we're walking and we're talking about the a7 IV, how it would be an obvious second camera for the a7s3 but like a boring purchase it's like you're getting basically the same stuff it's smart like just as good better than anything the competition offers but for me like i would rather have something like a canon c100 mark ii something different completely different but then you need new lenses I get it. So I don't know how we got on to the discussion about the card slots, but this is what the bet was all about. So the a7S III has two dual purpose card slots. You can use CF Express Type A cards and SD cards in the same slot, both. And so we're talking about the a7 IV and my buddy says, oh, it only has one of those dual slots. Dice said that. And then Geet says, oh no, it's not a dual though. It can only take CF Express A cards and the other slot is an SD card. And Dice is like, I'm pretty sure it takes, like it's a dual, but just the one. It's not like the A7S III. And I chimed in, I was like, yeah, I think it is a dual, but just the one. And then I was like, but I'm not, I don't know. And then Geet, just draws confidence from the earth and says, I'll bet you $400 that it does not have a dual slot in the first slot. And I was like, holy shit, is this about to go down? I don't know, man, that's a lot. And Dice is thinking, he's like, do I know this for sure? Is this worth it? He's done a bunch of research. He was thinking of buying that camera and he had the confidence, he's like, I know it has a dual slot. I've done this. I know this. Are you sure about this bet? Let's do it. They shook. Thunder erupted everywhere. I cried. There were cardinals off in the distance running away, running in the air. I was like, wow. I can't believe that just happened. I segued you into bullshit cardinal footage. 
You like how I did that? That's how the pros would have done it. So they shake and they're like, okay, we got to find out. So Geet starts Googling. He looks up a camera shop. He's looking. It says dual SD and CF Express card. And he's like, why did I do that? What have I done? I, I can't afford that at all. I, I'm behind on rent. Oh, God. And Dice is like, yes. Yeah. And he was so happy. Never seen a man smile so hard. And I was like, oh, my God. And he's like, I got to double check it. He's like, I'm calling the camera store. And so he did. He called the camera store. They weren't there, but they called him back almost immediately. And he's talking on the phone and he's asking him. It's on speakerphone. And he says, does the A7 IV have a dual CF Express SD card slot? And the guy's like, no, it has one CF Express card and one SD card slot. And Keats like, hope was alive in his heart. He was like, see? Oh. And Dice is like, oh no, man, what do you, I won. He thought he won. He was so high on the mountains. And then he was brought down by God. He was like, oh, could it be? Did I lose? I was so happy before. So I had to chime in and I was like, well, ask him to double check because the site says it is a dual slot on one and not the other. And that's what the bet was. And Geet's like, you son of a bitch, I won. Don't make me double check. So we asked him to double check. The camera guy did his job for the first time in his life. And he's like, oh, oh no, it is a, it is a dual slot, actually, that first one. We sell uh, CF Express cards if you, you need them. Yeah, it's a double. That's a double one. Sorry about that. So Geet lost. He lost twice. It probably hurt even more thinking he might have won and then being brought down to the gutters. That, that's gotta hurt. That was the cameraman who told Geet about the failed bet. Geet just thrashed him hard. He found out, oh, where, where are you at? So I can uh, get a CF Express card. He's like, oh, we're, at, we're downtown here. Come on in, anytime. He killed him. It was funny. Once he said, like, oh, I just lost a bet because of that, the camera guy was like, oh, no, it, it does not have a dual slot. <laughs> the photographer tried to lie his way out of a situation like they always do, but it didn't work. We're in pro neg high, by the way. Hi to you. So I got some epic stuff here. The macro especially, that macro lens, that's scary. With the crop of slow-mo, 240p, it's like a 30% crop. That is magic. If you're a macro shooter, you're used to taking stupid pictures, and then you crop in on a slow-mo, it's like your one-to-one -one macro becomes like a seven-to-one. Do the math right now, I'll wait. Oh my God, it's Dice. He said, I bought a camera last night. Which one? We're all gonna find out together, live. So exciting. What's your guess? He's a Olympus OM-1 owner, and he sold his G9. He sold his Fuji. He has a bunch of Fuji lenses. All Micro Four Thirds lenses and Fuji lenses. What did he buy? Don't post it down below. I don't want to read a bunch of your bullshit wrong guesses. Just think it. Think your own thoughts for once. I should probably not just wait here. So first impressions of the Leica 100 to 400 with the Olympus OM-1. It was plenty stable. There was definitely moments of jerkiness. For the most of this day, I was using just the lens stabe without IBIS because you can't do both. That's what I hate so much. And yes, this will be happening. Oh, it was already clutched. 300 mil Tony 4 Pro, thanks to Camera Canada on the EM-13 is what you wanted, right? We will test it. I complained that they didn't have it, and they do have it. 
And we have it now. Forever. That's artful. It's art now. So I like the look of this footage. It was just so detailed and crisp. It might not have that full frame quality to it, but it's nice. It's nice enough for YouTube. This was with the two times teleconverter on it. The digital, no, it's 1.4 times digital teleconverter. I just pressed the button. That is fantastic. Like you're right there. You've never been closer to a woodpecker in your life. I mean, you can see that every detail, like what's he eating right there? A grub. Like they literally do find grubs. That's why they do this. They peck into the bark, they find some meat, and then they peck some more and continue on their day. That's so detailed. I'll be honest with you, that Leica 100 to 400 is a lot sharper than my 75 to 300 Olympus kit lens. It is a lot nicer. But man, is it a pain in the butt to use because it's a really long zoom throw. So if you want to go from 100 to 400, it's maybe three turns. And a lot of rolling shutter happening when you're turning it, you're probably going to lose the thing. Whereas Sony, like I can be in the viewfinder and just tweaking, zooming, and I still have my shot. Whereas that was like, holy shit, can I recover from that? Usually not. You can actually pull it to zoom, and I was doing that for a while, but then you're very far away from the manual focus. So you have to like pull and then slide back to the manual focus ring. You get used to it. Then I tried out the macro lens. It was so hard. In the beginning, I didn't even have stave on just for this one shot, but it was so thin of a depth of field. I was like, my goodness, how do you get anything in? When I was that close, I was, I couldn't see anything on the screen. I was like, am I getting it? I got it for a bit, got it for a little bit. So I found you have to be in 240 frames per second or you're not getting anything usable. But once you do that, you get spiky little insect legs in the background of the thing you really wanted in the shot, which was its face. But whatever, it's mysterious. It's mysterious enough, oh, he flew away, did he? Glad I didn't capture it. Look at these details. Just every little hair on the leg, little bits of pollen, scales of his back, he's breathing. I didn't know bees breathed. Wow, that's how they get oxygen. Look at that detail, it scares me. Even though it's 240p, it's like disgusting footage, but with that lens, you have possibilities. Now this was one of the coolest shots I got. Finally, some bits are in focus. Every, as he walks, I even get his eyes at some point, but you can just see every detail of this bee in all his glory. Eventually he will all be in. We're about to see his face for a split second. Oh, his forehead, he has forehead acne. That's unfortunate. His back is a hairy back. He's an Italian. Oh, that is unfortunate. As he walks along the flower, just macro is fun in super slow-mo. Don't even try to do it like taking a picture or something. That's too slow. Even for you, old man. Now the coolest shot I got in the entire day. I don't know why this looked so magical. It was with the macro lens, I think. Don't quote me on that. It wasn't even a macro shot, but something about this felt special.
rest of the day was pure and utter bullshit. We got almost nothing. I did see a blue jay that puffed up slowly. It was pretty cool seeing that blue jay. We were in a cemetery. Don't ask why. It seemed better than all the nature trails we picked. But it was fun. We had a really fun day. And that was my lesson. That, like, you don't have to go out and get the best shots. If you have friends and you're laughing and one of them lost $400, you're all gonna have a good night, that's for sure. At least two of us did. We had a great time. So I'm going to take out this 300 mil 24 prime today. I'm probably gonna leave as soon as I finish this. I'm go get some shots, I'll make another video. Is this worth saving Olympus for? A prime? Feels nice, feels nice. Oh no, I ruined my art. Thank you for watching and buying things from me. I enjoy when you do that. So what do you think? That bet, was that insane? Was this footage worth saving Micro Four Thirds? Oh, it didn't make a lot of sense. Are you buying a shirt? Probably not that one, but whatever. How did Fuji handle the blues today? It's been a while. Blue, huh? I keep things interesting around here. I don't. I'll go.